Welcome to Columbia Southern University's 2013 Commencement Ceremony. Welcome honored guests, faculty and staff. I hereby declare this 2013 Commencement Ceremony to be open. You may be seated. gentlemen, please welcome the Honorable Mayor Tony Kennan, Mayor of the City of Orange Beach. Howdy. Man, we love y'all. We appreciate you being here more than you'll ever know. I, uh, Every year I ask this question, how many of you have never been or not from Alabama or never been to Orange Beach Gulf Shores? <laughs> Did you know we had beaches, paved roads, and wear shoes? <laughs> yeah. Not as bad as you thought, right? It's my honor to be here and a privilege to be here. It's my honor to be a part of this ceremony because of the Columbia Southern, the people at Columbia Southern, especially the Mays family. I've known them for a long time, guys, and you don't, I don't know if you understand how great a people they are, but I'm old school. If I want to do a deal with Robert or Chantel or Miss Mimi or even Mr. Robert, all I have to do is say, let's do it, shake hands, and I know they will honor their word, no matter what the circumstance is. So that is the group, that is the people you're affiliated with. Anytime I, I grew up Baptist, so I get in front of a microphone and podium, I think a sermon's in order. So. I'm going to go off script just for a minute. Uh, I went back to school at 25, 26, something like that. It only took me a quarter and a half to flunk out at 18. So I respect you and commend you for your non-traditional students, what you're doing. God's given you now another chance, another set of tools to go into the world to make a difference. You will make a difference now. At 42, I graduated at 31, at 42, God humbled me with a sledgehammer and changed my heart. Brain's one thing, but when you humble yourself and you have a change of heart, those tools you've just garnered today will be multiplied tenfold. There's, there's one reason we're on this earth, and the reason we're on this earth is that to serve. It's not about dollars, it's not about fame, it's not about fortune. Now, those things are good. They're not bad unto themselves. But they are a means to an end of service to your friends, your family, your neighbors, your fellow man. So you got the gift, you got the tools, and go make a difference in the world. So if there's anything I can do, my cell phone number is 251-747-8282. 251-747-8282. My phone number's in the book. Anything you see that we can do better in Orange Beach, I want you to let us know, because we want to do it, and we appreciate criticism. Even if you just want to know where you want to go eat. Even if you want to know where you don't want to go eat. <laughs> don't eat in Gulf Shores. So, <laughs> uh, I didn't say that here, so. But, <laughs> but anyway, God bless you, and uh, make a difference, guys. Thank you. Now I know who to call. <laughs> I now have the honor of introducing our next, spe next speaker, Mr. Bradley Byrne. 
Bradley Byrne was born and raised in Mobile, Alabama, just a few miles from the site where his great, great, great grandfather settled in the 1780s. After completing his undergraduate studies at Duke University, Bradley came home and received his law degree from the University of Alabama. In 1994, Bradley was elected to the Alabama State Board of Education. In 2002, Bradley won the Republican nomination and general election to the state Senate representing District 32. In 2007, Bradley was appointed as chancellor of the Alabama Department of Post-Secondary Education. Since 2010, Bradley has worked as an attorney in Mobile, focusing on economic development efforts for a wide range of business clients. He has been married to his wife, Rebecca, for 32 years, and they share four wonderful children. Bradley lives in Fairhope, where he and his family are members of the St. James Episcopal Church. Please help me welcome Mr. Bradley Byrne. Well, thank you so much, and welcome to everybody today. It was my privilege to be the speaker at the very first graduation for this great institution. And I can tell you at that graduation, it was a far, far smaller group, which just goes to show the incredible growth of this institution. And that goes to show the incredible quality of this institution, something you students know so well. What they provided to you will be with you for the rest of your life. And I know that you will carry in your heart a sense of gratitude and accomplishment for what you did here and what they did for you here. You know, each and every one of you, as you have accomplished this degree, have lifted yourself up. But you've not just lifted up yourselves, you've lifted up your families. And I know you've got a lot of family members here today who are very proud of you for what you've done. But you've also lifted up the communities in which you live because our communities are richer when we have people like you who go further in life than they were already. And also you lift up your nation because our nation is not just one big thing. It's a collection of a large number of individual people living in families and communities and as they strive to lift themselves up, they lift up our great nation and you are lifting up the United States of America today. So we are very, very grateful to you for that. You will make the future for our country. You will make the future for your communities and you are making the future for you and your families. Your future is bright. Go out there and grab it. God bless you all. Thank you, Mr. Byrne. Wow, this is your time. I'm the one that gets you all fired up before the other ones come, you know. This is your day, you made it, and now you get to walk across the stage. So many of you already have received your, your degree, but there's something about this stage, isn't it? It's a symbol, it's something you can check on and say, I did it. I personally know many of you had those stories of triumph where you faced all odds to be here today, so congratulations. Let's just give them a more hand. I'm so, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Woo! Great job. All right. It's an honor to have with us today the Naval Air Technical Training Center Performing Unit and Mr. Tommy Cooley singing the National Anthem. Please stand for the Parade of Colors and the National Anthem.
say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the And now Reverend Buford Lipscomb from Liberty Church in Pensacola, Florida will deliver the invocation. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, we lift up this, now the proceedings of this commencement ceremony 2013 of Columbia Southern University. Lord, this marks a great achievement by our staff and faculty here, Lord, but more so for these graduates and their families. We honor them on this occasion. And we celebrate with them their diligence, their stu studiousness, all that they've done to come to this place, Lord. And we pray now that you would uh, come into our midst and be present with us, be glorified in these proceedings today and in the lives of all of these graduates. And we pray today that this ceremony, Lord, will be a significant and memorable, memorable uh, a moment in their lives ahead. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. Well, today I have the honor of introducing my brother, my best friend, my hero, and our president. Robert Mays, he's been president since 2005, assuming this role after, uh, after the unexpected death of our father. I can say with total confidence that he has done a supreme job of leading CSU these last eight years. Robert is fully committed to CSU's mission and vision, which is to change and improve lives through higher education to enable them to maximize their professional and personal potential and serve the communities in which they live and work. Robert and I have worked together for now, now over 20 years, and I'm so proud of what he's accomplished and excited to see him continue to lead CSU into the future. We have a saying at CSU that we're taking over the nation. Don't you think so? And that's you too taking it over. Please join in me in welcoming your president Robert Mays. I look out over all of you today and, and I have been, I've been a part of this university like Chantel since its inception and it never ceases to amaze me at, at wow, how did we get to this wonderful place? And of course it's, it's due to a great team of leaders and faculty 
and you as students and those who supported you, but for, for this to be achieved, it only could have been done uh, with God's help and God's favor, and I give him a lot of credit for where we are today. Um, I would like to thank you, our graduates, for choosing CSU as your academic institution. Uh, since our 2012 commencement ceremony last year, 6,609 students have graduated from CSU's degree programs. Today in both ceremonies, we are honored to have 550 graduates in attendance and approximately 2,500 family and guests. If we were a traditional university and most all students attended the commencement ceremony and brought the same number of average number of family and friends and guests, there'd be 30,000 people in attendance today and we'd need a whole lot larger auditorium. Um, again, it's, we give God credit for where we are. So thank you for, for, ch for choosing to take the time to participate in this event because it is a very big deal to us and a very big deal to you. I'd also like to take this time to welcome our online viewers. We are streaming this ceremony live. Uh, you can be very proud that you are part of a university with an active student body of 30,000 students and almost 29,000 alumni. CSU strives to offer exceptional service and to take care of our students with 1,100 faculty and staff, and we're very proud to be uh, affiliated with over 2,500 organizations as learning partners. Of course, why we're here today is to celebrate you, our graduates, for your hard work, your determination, and what you have achieved in earning your degree. Now, 44% of CSU student body is made up of active military or veterans, and we're very, very proud to serve this wonderful group and to be the sixth largest institution in the United States to serve military, according to DOD data. So, if you're a veteran or active duty, whether you're a guest or a graduate, I'd like for you to please stand and offer you a round of applause. Thank you. Also, we are a very large institution in the world of law enforcement, fire, and emergency services, and public safety. So if you are a guest or a graduate in one of those areas serving in that capacity, please stand, and we'd like to recognize you. Thank you. So our graduates, un unlike other institutions, our graduates and you, as you know, have come from all over the country and different parts of the world to be here with us today. We have over, we have 43 states and several countries uh, and rep represented here today. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna call out your state or country that you traveled from based on what we were submitted. And uh, I'll call the states out in groups of seven and then countries individually. So as I call your state out, I ask you to stand and remain standing um, until I finish the group, and then everyone hold your applause to the end of the group, please. So first group, Alaska. Stand up, Just remain standing, Alabama. Arkansas, Arizona, California, Colorado, Connecticut, and Florida. Give them a round of applause. Maybe see seated out. As I call these states out, if states out, if you want to shout or scream or do whatever, that's quite all right. <laughs> Georgia, <laughs> Hawaii, <laughs> Iowa, <laughs> Illinois, <laughs> Indiana, Kansas, Kentucky, <laughs> and Louisiana. <laughs> Thank you. Massachusetts, Maryland, Maine, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, <laughs> Mississippi, Montana. All right, a round of applause, please. North Carolina, North Dakota, Nebraska, New Jersey, New Mexico, 
Nevada, New York, Ohio. All right. Thank you. Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Virginia, and Washington. Give them a round of applause, please. Wisconsin, West Virginia, Wyoming. Now, is there anyone I missed? Anybody? Nope? All right. Give them a round of applause. Those who traveled from the country of Vietnam, please stand. Those who travel from Japan, please stand. And Nigeria. Did we miss any countries? That's great. We did the best ever right there. OK. Well, graduates, you have shown the world through your pers 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 perseverance, excuse me, and dedication, you can and will succeed. Um, at this time, um, I would like to recognize one of our founders. My parents, Dr. Robert Mays and Mimi Mays, founded the university in 1993. Unfortunately, as many of you know, Dr. Mays passed away in 2005. However, Mimi remains an inspiration and driving force behind the institution. Mimi, please stand and accept these flowers as a token of our appreciation. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> Sitting by her is my wife, Joanna. Would you also give her a round of applause? <laughs> Thank you. We have some of our board of trustees with us today that have traveled here. Um, and as I call your name, please stand and we'll give them a round of applause at the end. Chief Forney Howard, Dr. John Thornell, Mimi Mays, and Chantel Cooley. So sitting over to my right in the front of the auditorium, we have many of our CSU faculty members, and it is our faculty that make the most significant interaction with you, our students and graduates. More than anyone, they have contributed to laying the foundation for an exceptional CSU learning experience. I'd ask them to stand and please give them a round of applause. Thank you, faculty. <coughs> CSU is very blessed to have a wonderful group of staff and faculty that make this institution run so well. So we have um, a Robert G. May Senior Distinguished Faculty Award of the Year that I'd like to speak to you about now. Um, as I said earlier, offering exceptional service and quality academic programs would not be pass possible without our faculty members who are committed to going beyond the call of duty and to helping our students reach their educational goals. The Robert G. May Senior Distinguished Faculty of the Year Award was established to recognize and honor outstanding achievement and contributions by a CSU faculty member and is voted on by the student body. I'm proud to announce the recipient of the 2013 Robert G. May Senior Distinguished Faculty of the Year Award is Professor Daryl Gulliver. Now, Dr. Jeff Barksdale, the Vice President for Academic Affairs, will be accepting the award on behalf of Professor Gulliver, who was unable to attend this ceremony. And I'll read a few words about Dr. Gulliford. Yes, Jeff, come on up for a minute. Dr. Gulliford was born and raised in Northwest Iowa, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> Ohio, graduated from Ohio State University and practiced respiratory therapy and cardiovascular perfusion prior to his training in healthcare administration at the University of Cincinnati. He received a master's degree in community health administration and health planning and also studied in the British National Health Services, completing a fellowship in London as well. Dr. Darrell is now a fellow and diplomat of the American Academy of Medical Administrators, also a fellow of the American College of Cardiovascular Administrators. 
Daryl has held CEO positions at four community hospitals since 1991, including Community Memorial Hospital in Defiance, Ohio, which made the top 100 hospitals in America list of modern healthcare from Modern Healthcare Magazine. He has constructed and opened new hospitals for the communities of Huggerton, Kansas, and Holdenville, Oklahoma, also serving as district president and state vice president for the Hospital Association of both Kansas and Oklahoma. Daryl helped found the Healthcare Administration Program at CSU in the early 1990s, uh, working with Dr. Mays, my father. He loves teaching online and is very proud of the progress CSU has made over the years. Let's please give Dr. Gulliford a round of applause. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for me. Thank you so much again for sharing this day with us, for traveling so far, seeing our wonderful area and our beaches, and being part of the CSU family. My sincere congratulations to you all, and God bless. Thank you, President Robert. Well, we have a great speaker lined up for you. When we look for a speaker, you want someone to really inspire our graduates. And it's very important for us, for you to hear what you hear today will encourage you to continue to move yourself forward, to go after your dreams and visions. This may be one chapter of your book closed, but you've got many more to move yourself forward in. Today's commitment, commencement address will be offered by President uh, of Waldorf College, Dr. Bob Alsop. In April of 2011, the Waldorf College Board of Trustees selected doc, Dr. Robert A. Ossoff as the 16th president of Waldorf College. He joined Waldorf College in 1998 after receiving a, a doctorate degree in English from Southern Illinois of University at Carbondale. During his tenure at Waldorf, he also served in a variety of roles, including associate professor of English, chair of the English department, director of Honors College, assistant academic dean of the college, and interim vice president for academic affairs. A native of, of Duluth, Minnesota, Dr. Ossoff has also earned a bachelor's degree in English from Concordia College in Moorhead, Minnesota in 1989 and a master's and doctorate degree in English from Southern Illinois University at Carbondale, Illinois. He has an extensive record of scholarship in American and Renaissance literature with papers that have been published or presented at regional, national, and international conferences. He has also received several awards for his teaching, including the Board of Trustees Outstanding Faculty Award and the Phi Theta Kappa Professor of the Year Award. He holds membership in a number of professional associations, serves as a board member for several community organizations, and is an active member of Emanuel Lutheran Church. He and his wife, Natalie, have two sons. Thank you, Dr. Alsop, for choosing to be a part of our graduate special day. Now, if you will, join me in welcoming Dr. Bob Alsop. Thank you, Chantel. I'm reminded, I don't know if we have any fans of Seinfeld, but George Costanza says, you take my whole life, you reduce it down to 30 seconds, it's decent. <laughs> I appreciate that. You must have consulted with my mother as well, so that was nice too. Um, before I begin here, I have to take this funny looking hat off because that's not going to work. Um, but I, I like Chantel, Robert, Mimi, Tommy, just to stand up. And we're not going to do the, the polite golf clap here, but you need to know in my 25 years of experience in higher education, I have never seen people so passionate about the power of education and its ability to change lives. So let's really give it up for the Mays family. Yeah. I know we've recognized the, the Board of Trustees not many students uh, really understand what a board of uh, trustees does, um, but they are the driving force behind not just CSU, but higher education. So one more time, not the golf clap, but a real cheer 
for the Board of Trustees. And CSU faculty and staff, they are amazing. These are the people, they've been there every step of the way for you, right? You've had phone calls, you've been in chats, you've struggled. They definitely don't deserve a, uh, a golf clap, right? <laughs> look over there, look around you. These are the people that have been there every step of the way. Let's give them a real cheer. And graduates, look behind you. Look at the people that came with you today, that shed tears with you, that believed in you, that stood behind you every step of the way. For those parents, children, spouse, cousins, friends, what do they deserve from you today? And graduates, stay seated, I'll get to you later. <laughs> I've been thinking as a student, as a faculty member, and as an administrator, I've put robes like this on for over 25 years coming to commencement ceremonies. Now, I've never spoken at one before, but I think I've learned a couple of essential rules for commencement addresses. First, keep it short. Right? <laughs> well, that was humbling. <laughs> Second, remember this is about a celebration. Right? Any opportunity you have to shout out, cheer, give an amen, a woohoo, a hoo ha, you go ahead and do it. <laughs> and I thought I thought I was going to have to do some prompting. <clears throat> Robert and Chantel, I've been down here all week, have been adding a third to my list, telling me that I need to inspire today. To me, that is too tall of a task for this group of graduates. Because no commencement speaker can inspire you the way that people in your life have already inspired you to get to this day. So graduates, I want you to take a moment to think about those people who have inspired you and who are the most proud of you right now. It might be someone here, a parent, a child, a relative, a spouse, or a friend that's here with you today. It may be a CSU faculty or staff member who would not let you fail. It could be someone who's no longer with us in this life, but whose memory motivated you, motivated you during long nights of study. Could be a grade school teacher, a coach, a pastor, a friend, who has no idea about the impact he or she has had on your life. So take a moment to think of that person right now and what that person has meant to you. Now on the count of three, let's let it go again with an amen, a cheer, a woohoo, whatever is inside you to give it up for those people who motivated you to be here today, right now. One, two, three. <laughs> Your charge, your duty now, is to carry the inspiration of those people who inspired you, those people who are most proud of you right now, today. Because let me tell me, you, you are an inspiration, each and every one of you. I've seen how your stories have inspired the faculty and staff at CSU, how many of you toured CSU's facilities in the last couple days? Right. Great. So certainly you notice all the frames on the hallways <clears throat> the, uh, that hold the words of students describing their CSU experience. 
Those walls of CSU are literally filled with your inspirational stories. Those quotes are not simply an expression of your gratitude for the education CSU provides, but a testament of all that you have had to do to make your educational dreams come true. It took dedication. It took real courage to do what you have done to get here today. How many of you served in the military while working on a paper? How many of you studied for exams, worked on math problems while serving in law enforcement, fire, and emergency services? How many of you kept full-time jobs, part-time jobs while you're writing papers for classes? How many of you studied either really early in the morning before anyone in your house was awake or late at night after you put your kids to bed? How many of you put off vacations, purchasing a car, spending money on something just a little special just so you could afford your degree? How many of you just simply had to tell a friend or a family member, no? So you had time to study. And here's something that I heard just this, this morning. Who's been here that was in the hospital and insisted that they bring him his computer so he could finish his courses? That's right, I'm talking to you, Louis. You are here today because you sacrificed. You endured, you persevered, it was tough. In fact, if it hadn't been tough, if it hadn't been hard, you probably wouldn't be here right now. We don't rejoice in our success over the easy. We celebrate the triumph over the hard. And it's the fact that it was difficult that makes today great. How many of you have seen the Tom Hanks movie, A League of Their Own? Remember that, a few of you? Okay, it's, it's the movie that tells the story of the formation of a women's baseball league during World War II. While it was a dream for these women to play professional ball, it was tough. They endured humiliate, humiliating jeers from the crowds, crummy travel conditions, little care for their health, and in the case of the Rockford Peaches, an abusive coach, remember, there's no crying at baseball. <laughs> Toward the end of the movie, the film's protagonist and star catcher of the Rockford Peaches, Dottie Hinson, quits the team. She tells her manager, Jimmy, Jimmy Dugan, it just got too hard. Jimmy passionately responds, it's supposed to be hard. If it wasn't hard, everyone would do it. The hard is what makes it great. And everything you have done, everything you have experienced today to get here right now has made you great. <laughs> to be sure, challenges will still come. But because of your CSU education, you are more ready than you have ever been before to handle those challenges. There may be in times in the future when, like Donnie Hinson, you want to throw up your hands, walk away, and give up. When that happens, think of this moment. Think of this moment right now. Think of how you feel right now and know with confidence that you, you can conquer anything. That's a little too close to a golf clap. You can do anything. Your education has been a great gift and something no one can ever take away from you, ever. But remember, to whom much has been given, much will be required. Your CSU degree will continue to serve you well but more importantly, you are positioned to serve the world well, your family, your community, 
in your profession. Now, this doesn't mean you stop learning and growing, but carry with you the knowledge that you, you are ready to have a great impact on the world. And that is my message for you today. Because the knowledge you have gained, the perseverance you have demonstrated, and the courage that you have exhibited as a CSU graduate, you have it within you to face any challenge that comes your way. You have it within you, you to, to, to succeed with anything you encounter. You have it in the world to change the world. To paraphrase Jimmy Dugan, the hard truly has made you great and the world is a better place for it. And I mean that. I thank God for you and I thank God for CSU because of the education CSU has provided and what you have learned, experienced, and created, your future is not just brighter, but our future is brighter. Thank you, and let's keep celebrating. Thank you, Dr. Alsop. Everyone, let's give it, Dr. Alsop, a very big round of applause. Let's give it up. All right. I think we're sufficiently awake today. Will the doctoral candidates please rise and come forward? Stephanie A. Diggs O'Foy. President Mays, this candidate, Stephanie Diggs O'Foy, has completed all the requirements for the doctorate degree. Her dissertation is titled African American Business Accountants Perspectives on Career Advancement and Workplace Discrimination. On behalf of the faculty, I recommend that for the doctoral degree to be conferred upon the candidate at this time. With the authority granted to me by the state of Alabama and approval of the board and faculty of Columbia Southern University, I hereby confer upon you the doctorate degree and all the rights and privileges that come with it Please move your tassel from right to left of your cap as a sign to all of this great achievement. I now present to you Dr. Stephanie Diggs O'Foy. Kirkpatrick. President Mays, this candidate, Stephen Kirkpatrick, has completed all the requirements for the doctorate degree. His dissertation is titled A Quantitative Study of Senior Military Officers and Servant Leadership Attributes. On behalf of the faculty, I recommend that the doctoral degree be conferred upon the candidate at this time. With the authority granted to me by the state of Alabama and approval of the board and faculty of Columbia Southern University, I hereby confer upon you the doctorate degree and all the rights and privileges that come with it. Please move your tassel from the right to the left side of your cap as a sign to all of this great achievement.
I now present to you Dr. Stephen Kirkpatrick. Kathy Lynette McCall. President Mays, this candidate, Kathy McCall, has completed all the requirements for the doctoral degree. Her dissertation is titled, The Current State of Auditing Profession Under Regulation. On behalf of the faculty, I recommend that the doctoral degree be conferred upon the candidate at this time. With the authority granted to me by the state of Alabama and approval of the board and faculty of Columbia Southern University, I hereby confer upon you the doctor degree and all the rights and privileges that come with it. Please move your tassel from the right to the left side of your cap as a sign to all of this great achievement. I now present to you Dr. Kathy McCall. Stephen Pollock. President Mays, this candidate, Stephen Pollock has completed the requirements for the doctoral degree. His dissertation is titled, A Best Practice Process for Collaboration Based on Knowledge Created by Internal Coaches and Six Sigma Green Belts. <laughs> on behalf of the faculty, I recommend that the doctoral degree be conferred upon the candidate at this time. With the authority granted to me by the state of Alabama and approval of the board and faculty of Columbia Southern University, I hereby confer upon you this doctorate degree and all the rights and privileges that come with it. Please move your tassel from the right to the left side of your cap as a sign to all of this great achievement. I now present to you Dr. Stephen Pollock. Let's have another round of applause for our doctoral students. Will the master degree candidates please rise? <laughs> Chairman Howard, these candidates have completed all the requirements for the master's degree. On behalf of the faculty, I recommend the master's degree be conferred upon them at this time. With the authority granted to me by the state of Alabama on approval of the board and faculty of Columbia Southern University, I hereby confer upon you the master's degree and all the rights and privileges that come with it. Please move your tassel from the right to the left side of your cap as a sign to all of this great achievement. I congratulate you and applaud you. Will the candidates for the master's degree please come forward to receive your diploma?
Presenting the College of Business, Brian Dowden. Rosalind Forney. Julie Waller. Barry Waller. Nicole Crotty. Reverend Patrick Bishop. Rhoda G. Sanders. Samantha Sabalka. Courtney Dillon. Shanika Coleman. Alex Mukisi. Lisa Blackman. Reva M. Burks. Stacy Othmont. Amber Wilson McIntyre. Latasha Robinson. Patrick Ritchie. Stanley Norris. Oliver Davis. Angelique Nelson. Wen T. Chuang Chuang. Tai T. Swan Ziem. Wen T. Tan Ha. Fred Robledo. Dorothy Key. Michael Carter. Takeda Rawls. Paul Anderson. Gladys Fandora. Kirk Kobach. Daylon A. Douglas. Gabriel Maxwell. Juanica Nixon. <laughs> Gwendolyn Williams. <laughs> Dwayne Darby. <laughs> Brenda Watson. Nikia Harvey. Benjamin Bakey. Diane Simmons. Felicia Blackman. Joy Esquivel. Pebbles King. Raphius Redman. Roderick Lowe. Latoria Martin. Zadie Obregon. Yeah. 
Michael Phillips. Lynette Blair. Carolyn Terrell. Susan Keel. Joyce Foster. Olga Yvette McDuffie. Michelle Kinlaw. Becky Floor. Peter Nictor. Lily Perrine. LaBerry Perrine. John Alfred Taylor, Jr. Saul Rios. Jason Basaldua. Micah Dalco. Cherie Shellhaz. Amy Ford. Presenting the College of Safety and Emergency Services, Tracy Paul. Sean Holloway. Tiffany Mitchell. Sherian Patrick. Samuel McIntyre. Michael Mann. Eugene Clayton. Russell Berenger. Henry Carter. Darren Jackson. Mary England. Patience Adagba. Rochelle Cole. Gina Sop. Kanya Rawls. Rev Boy Me Odihi William Brown Michael Garza Celia Torres Bruce Schwartz Christopher Lee. Patricia E. Tanruther. Mar 
Monique Milam. Valerie Walker. Timothy Dudley Jr. Jennifer Bogacki. Brian Morrison. Anthony Fornicola. Juanita Riojas Glover. Kenneth Lang. Jeff Fields. Dwight Campbell. Dominic Wallace. Danny Province. Tracy Driver. All right, let's have one more round of applause for the master show. Will the bachelor's degree candidates please rise? <laughs> Chairman Howard, these candidates have completed all the requirements for the bachelor's degree. On behalf of the faculty, I recommend the bachelor's degree be conferred upon these candidates at this time. With the authority granted to me by the state of Alabama on approval of the board and faculty of Columbia Southern University, I hereby confer upon you the bachelor's degree and all the rights and privileges that come with it. Please move, please move your tassel from the right to the left. The side of your cap is assigned to all of this great achievement. I congratulate you and applaud you. Will each candidate for the bachelor's degree please come forward to, as your name is called to receive your diploma. Presenting the College of Arts and Sciences. Okay. 
Natasha Wallen. Joy Nicole Grindstaff. Tiffany Daniel. Presenting the College of Business. Winter Dacus, magna cum laude. Otisha Butler. Charles White. Brian Christopher Hunt. Sharia Adams, cum laude. Etoya Tolls Wilson. Nicole Allen, cum laude. Jacqueline Washington, cum laude. Darlene Robinson, magna cum laude. Jacqueline Nicole Hunter, magna cum laude. Frederick Luke, summa cum laude. Eddie Ross, summa cum laude. Alexander Lopez, cum laude. Monica Bell Knox, magna cum laude. Jessica Duan, summa cum laude. Leticia Golden, magna cum laude. Cheryl Morrison. Lashendra Atkins. Aaron James Albright, summa cum laude. Robert Fritz. Pauline Coulter, summa cum laude. Nicole Springer, magna, magna cum laude. Dane Boggs, cum laude. Terrence Snowden. Allison Laurent, magna cum laude. Tijuana Bragg. Nicholas Agan, cum laude. Carola Thomas, summa cum laude. Teresa Sarver. Kawaii Green. Corey Frazier. Deshania Fulmore. Damaris Thomas. Samuel Sims, cum laude. Donald Fleur, summa cum laude. Hilda Pagan Nunez, summa cum laude. Richard Trotter, magna cum laude. 
Nikia Fain, magna cum laude. Lois Brown, magna cum laude. Mark Lane, summa cum laude. Chastity Smith. Gilbert Obregon, magna cum laude. William Walker, magna cum laude. Vanita Wiley, magna cum laude. Monty O'Brien, cum laude. Brian Ulrich, cum laude. Edward Rowe. Diane Dorothy Summa Cum Laude. Marjorie Flanser Cum Laude. Rebecca Williams Cum Laude. Tina Scott Cum Laude. Janice Thibodeau. William Moran, summa cum laude. Maurice Williams, cum laude. Michelle Erickson. Amy Lynn Best, magna cum laude. Jacqueline Rock. Teresa Westbrook. Sheena Slater. Sheldon Banks. Larry Tolliver, magna cum laude. Andrew Schneider, magna cum laude. Mandola Nash, magna cum laude. Kanisha Holloman. Tarell Murphy, magna cum laude. Tamara Brinkmeyer, magna cum laude. Miranda Zerwanka, magna cum laude. Presenting the College of Safety and Emergency Services. Christopher Oler, magna cum laude. Charles Hughes, magna cum laude. Douglas Mitchell, summa cum laude. Gary Glover. Derek Whittinghill, magna cum laude. Reginald Smith, cum laude. <laughs> Michael Lewis. Michael DeShane Davis. Richard Johnston, summa cum laude. Renee Reconco. Roger Wiley. Michael Davis, summa cum laude. Clyde Ortego. Mutar Jalal. Cum laude.
Kyle McCullers. Jerry Kirby, summa cum laude. Brian Wells, summa cum laude. Douglas Roland, magna cum laude. Eric Newlin, cum laude. Brian Nickerson. Lisa Idell, summa cum laude. Jamie Collins, magna cum laude. Jeff Pritchard. Kayla Brock, summa cum laude. Alan Geeser, summa cum laude. Brent Hicks. <laughs> Shayla Chantel Lawson. Trenton Brooks, cum laude. Rosemary Peak, magna cum laude. Linda Dieter. Susan Snap. Edward Casares. Wayman R. Westbrook, summa cum laude. Terry W. Adams, magna cum laude. Thomas Cones, magna cum laude. Mark Patterson. James Gummery. Robert Ortiz, magna cum laude. Jack Dickerson. Edward Lesher, magna cum laude. Alfred Matthews, cum laude. Reginald Orr. Charles Morvant, magna cum laude. Martin Feld, magna cum laude. Jessica Shoup, summa cum laude. Lewis Womack, summa cum laude. Tanya Messenger, summa cum laude. Samuel Tullis. Chris Ainsworth, summa cum laude. Eli Tolinci, magna cum laude. CSU, turn it up! Warren C. Rankin. John Walker.
Michael A. Frazier, cum laude. Howell Sam Bruce, magna cum laude. Penelope Ingalls, summa cum laude. Michael Jaco, magna cum laude. Jeffrey Stone, summa cum laude. Shane Ellis. Jason Hatcher. Robert Gull. Kenneth Leroy Tadlock, Jr., summa cum laude. Braulio Correa, Jr. <laughs> Stephen J. Lee, cum laude. Penny Rep, magna cum laude. Thomas Lopez, magna cum laude. Jeffrey Kennedy, magna cum laude. Merv McConico. All right, let's have another round of applause for the bachelor's degree students. Will the associate degree candidates please rise? <laughs> Chairman Howard, these candidates have completed all the requirements for the associate's degree. On behalf of the faculty, I recommend that the associate degree be conferred upon these candidates at this time. With the authority granted to me by the state of Alabama and approval of the board and faculty of Columbia Southern University, I hereby confer upon you the associate degree and all the rights and privileges that come with it. Please move your tassel from the right to the left side of your cap as a sign of all of this great achievement. I congratulate you and applaud you. Will each candidate for the associate's degree please come forward as your name is called to receive your diploma. Presenting the College of Arts and Sciences. Samantha Krausen. Presenting the College of Business. Heather Coley.
Sharon King. Angela Sarvis Jones. Presenting the College of Arts and Sci uh, excuse me, presenting the College of Safety and Emergency Services, Rafaela Costa. Charles Rayburn. Christopher Jensen. Roland J. Tellier. Adam Bruton. Christopher Amity. Kimberly Finch. Doris Mitchell. Eric Holmes. Kendall Lumpkins. Dennis Feliciano. Katrina Jamerson. Richard Rivera. Abdullah Goins. Walter Wandel. Terry Hodges. Dennis Brown. Okay, let's have one more round of applause for the associate degree students. Wow. So graduates, today we celebrate. Tomorrow, as you return to each of your professional fields, remember that you are a new and different person. You have earned a credential that has meaning in the professional business world. Finally, and again, don't forget to thank your family, friends, and colleagues who supported and encouraged you. They have been there wanting the best for you while waiting for you to achieve it. Make their wait worthwhile. Return their investment in you as many times over as you can. Please rise and applause all of those who have supported you. You may be seated. Thank you and good luck, graduates of the Columbia Southern University class of 2013. You have earned it. Pastor Buford Lipscomb will now deliver the benediction. Let us pray. Father, we pray now for these new graduates, alumni of Columbia Southern University, as they leave this great hall here in a moment. We pray that you, your hand would be continued upon them, Lord, that their purpose in life ahead would be your purpose. Lord, that their journey would not be about just making a lot of money, but would be about making a difference in people's lives, pursuing their dream, Father. 
We pray, God, your blessings to be upon them and their future, their families. We pray, Lord, that today will have been a turning point that, uh, where they recognize uh, new affirmation, new qualification, new, uh, uh, just new ability, Lord, to pursue your dream for their lives. Go with them, we pray, and bless them. In Jesus' name, amen. Will everyone please stand for the platform recessional? And please remain at your seats. Well, congratulations, graduates. Please remember to stop by the information tent to pick up your gift. And on behalf of Columbia Southern University, I now welcome you to throw your hats. This ceremony is now concluded. Thank you. And good luck.